Well, okay, you've seen some of the videos of the little buck by now, but I wanted to do a video with the um, saw sawing, so I've picked a log out that's fairly typical. This would be something you might find if you really wanted a long-lasting winter fire, or it might be something you'd find as a blowdown. <clears throat> This is probably about as thick as you can cut easily with the little buck. The little buck is designed to cut something that is up to five and a half inches without uh, needing to do uh, anything special like turning it over to cut the other side, which you could always do, I suppose. But this, uh, this is a six inch mark on the ruler, and you can see this is just about exactly five and a half inches, so it's right at the limit of the little buck's easy cut. So let's go ahead and get cutting. I always tend to start with a fairly light pressure to get the cut started. Once the cut started, you can bear down more. And you want to kind of take long strokes to let the blade do the work. So you can see that as you go to a longer blade, like this is a 15 inch blade, it allows you to cut things that are bigger than you can cut with a shorter blade saw. So if you had something like a pruning saw, you would have a lot of difficulty cutting something this size, whether you needed to do it for trail maintenance as a blowdown or for a long lasting winter fire. And there you have it. Little buck saw with the new cushy grip, alloy tubes, Swedish steel blade. You need a very high quality blade for a good saw. Take care, this is Chi Wiz. Keep it light.